Okay, ready? Yes. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the regular meeting of the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Englewood Cliffs. Today is July 13th, 2022, and it's approximately 7.03 p.m. I call the meeting to order. Uh, meetings being called to order virtually uh, pursuant to the Zoom application. I am just noticing on my agenda at the top, um, the abbreviation for post meridium appears twice. So we just need to correct that. The PM is twice. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you please read into the record the statement of compliance? Sure. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Law, PL 1975, Chapter 231, setting forth the time, date, place, and purpose of this meeting through a legal notice published in the record, posted on the borough website, and on the bulletin board. Thank you. Uh, would you please conduct a roll call? Mayor Cranjack? Present. Member Diego Gorio? Present. Member Luciano? I'm here. Member Park? Yes. Member Baguettes? <clears throat> Member Kipsaskis? Here. Council President Katrubis? Here. And Attorney Mench? Here. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Park, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Okay. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag. flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the public for which, which it stands, one, one, one nation, nation under, God, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty, with liberty and, and justice for all. For all. Okay, thank you. Um, just if we can have a somewhat prolonged moment of silence um, for the following uh, residents and perhaps former residents. Uh, they are, uh, and our condolences go out to their families. John Stepick, Sister Ann Taylor, Marie Jaxel, George Nicholas Sikas, Jean Perrin, Barbara Strauss, and um, Karen Dyer, uh, who is a fabulous attorney, representing the attorney, the uh, borough rather, uh, with tremendous effort, um, passed away as well. So we have a moment of silence for them. Think with the voice. Thank you. Uh, just by way of update regarding COVID, uh, this week we had 11 positive cases, last week we had 12. Uh, so it's not, it's kind of staying stable for the last couple of weeks. And at that, at this point, um, I see this closed session on the agenda, although there's nothing listed next to it. I guess email to the council uh, and to council, uh, some affordable housing um, items that I thought we should discuss. So does the council want to go into closed session to discuss those pending bills and anything else? I, I, I don't know, uh, Mayor, unless it involves litigation directly, I don't know that the discussion of pending bills itself would be a closed session topic. Well, I, I think it lends itself to whatever litigation strategies we have and whatever, whatever pending litigations uh, okay. We, yeah. Uh, if it's if it's in a context of litigation, then it would be an acceptable closed session topic. Okay. Can I have a motion to go into closed session? So move. A second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, the governing body uh, is going into closed session. Uh, we're going to place the public in a waiting room until we get back. I have a motion to come out of closed session. I move. I'll make the motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So, to members of the public, um, one of the items that we discussed in the context of litigation uh, can also be discussed outside of the context of litigation, and that is that there are about 60. Uh, pending bills in the New Jersey Assembly, New Jersey Senate, 
dealing with affordable housing. And, and some of the items in there are, are very applicable to us as a borough. Uh, and and we, we should have the ability to weigh in and to voice on behalf of our residents. And um, if I can, I'll probably try to even just do an email blast with this list uh, in the links so that people can uh, engage themselves in, in the process as well from the public's point of view and maybe give us some ideas. Okay. Uh, that said, next on the agenda uh, is uh, number six the 2022 municipal budget adoption. Uh, so this was introduced, the budget was introduced and now we're adopting it. So first up uh, is 22-147. This is to approve the self-examination of budget. And I believe I need to have a, a public session just on this item and then a vote. Is that correct, Mr. Mench? Yes, uh, you can do that. I just, um, one note, I got a call about uh, maybe an hour ago, uh, 45 minutes ago from uh, your CFO, who was concerned that the, uh, he thinks that the budget needed to be introduced by four votes. There was uh, three votes in favor, two votes opposed, and one council member absent. The statutory language says full a majority of the full membership, which would mean if there's six sworn members, you would need four votes. Um, so before we do anything further on the budget, Robert's rules um, specifically has a provision which uh, provides that a, a body, a governing body can you know, vote, we've done this before a few times, but can vote to ratify a a action that was taken previously that may not have been, you know, in conformance with either quorum or other provision. So my recommendation is that before the council moves forward on the budget, that there be a motion to uh, retroactively approve the introduction of the budget by a four member majority um, along with the budget amendments. So when, oh, when, that, came, when that issue came up, um, you were asked specifically that three or four, you said three is fine. It turns out that three was not fine. And now we're going to ratify with four. Is, is that going to be fine? Or should we just reintroduce and, and not leave this? Uh, you could. Subject, let me finish. So, and not leave it subject to uh, the litigation that probably yeah. will ensue. So you could do either. Um, certainly one option that the council has is just to start from scratch, reintroduce. If you reintroduce, it means two things. It means that you're going to have to have a special meeting next week to approve a temporary budget. And it means you're going to have to re-notice the, you know, republish the budget in the paper and you come back in 20 days. You certainly could do that. There's no, other than that, those two steps, there's no reason why you couldn't do it. It's my opinion that you can rectify it by ratifying it. We can check tomorrow with the, the you know, DCA and make sure they're okay with that action. If they're not okay with it, then we can come back next week at a special meeting and reintroduce anyway. Um, okay. So those are the two I, I, did, I, I don't vote. So for me, it, it doesn't really impact me, but it's up to the council and it was also your opinion that three was fine and it wasn't. So if if I if I gave the opinion that three was fine, then I think that was incorrect. I've reread, I've okay. already pointed you out. I think it's incorrect. You're, you're telling us it was incorrect. It appears to be incorrect. There's some it's it's That's why better to do it with four. Yes. The better course of action would have been to do it with four. I read it as a majority of the members that were voting. It is a majority of the full membership, regardless of who is there. I leave it up to the council if uh, which route they wish to take. Three votes. We're here. Mayor, I think my I, hands up. Yes, <clears throat> Mr. You know. I would suggest to everybody that you reintroduce it with all due respect to Mr. Mench. Um, we probably can do and ratify. I don't think that's a proper way to do our budget. I think that uh, we should introduce. Plus, I think there's probably a number of questions that. I would think that if anybody looked at the budget that we would have with regard to this budget. And um, 
I would, my recommendation would be for the majority to um, reintroduce and move forward that way. <clears throat> All right, somebody just make a motion, which way you wanna go? I think that we should follow Matt's opinion. I like to make a motion to ratify and then have Matt double check with the DCA. And if that's the case, then we can, uh, we can proceed with what he comes back with tomorrow. But if he's wrong, then we're still going to have to have the special meeting. We're still going to yep. then have to reintroduce. Then we're still going to have to wait 28 days instead of from today for us to then have a hearing on the budget. So uh, you guys are in the majority. I'm just my suggestion would be to do it the right way. Yeah, I mean, if we go your route, Glenn, we have to wait another 28 days. We may be. You might have to, to do that tomorrow when you find out from the DCA that the yeah. only way to introduce your budget properly, you can't ratify. You might be able to ratify things besides the budget. I don't know if you can ratify a vote on a budget appropriation or a budget introduction. That's my concern. But you guys can do whatever you want. Is it possible? I'll second Tim's motion. That's fine. Is it possible to um, to recess now and call someone at the DCA? If we if we had realized this before, you know, uh, as you can imagine, Mayor, um, most government entities are not working at seven thirty at night. So yeah. it's, only just, to, it's only the volunteers that actually work. That's, that's that is that is an accurate statement. So, um, uh, you know, I Laura, I don't. Laura, I'm sorry, Laura, and you. Um, so I, unfortunately, uh, this got raised so late in the day that I had, there's no way of contacting anybody. Um, you know, I know that we, that, uh, Gordon discussed it with the auditors who, who didn't think it was going to be an issue, but, uh, you know, I, we don't want to want to raise it. And we take one of those two corrective actions. Um, I would say you cannot ratify an ordinance. All right. Well, we have a, we have a motion and we have a and second. So take your vote. Let's, uh, if we'll no revisit more. it. I'm sure. All right, Mr. Luciano. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm speaking, please. Uh, if there's no other discussion, we'll have the vote. If anyone else wishes to discuss anything regarding this item, please go ahead right now. I don't think you can ratify. You said that words. already. You said that already. Okay. Well, you, but um, I interrupted you and you stopped me, so I just yeah. want to make sure my words got right. out. But redundancy is not valor. It's just redundancy. And it's, OK, thank you, uh, Okay. I agree. I agree that we should uh, do it the right way. Otherwise, we're asking for trouble. Better always to do things properly uh, instead of cutting corners, because if we cut corners, it might get us later. And um, so that's my uh, careful, prudent opinion. Thank you. OK, any other discussion before we have a roll call? Mr. Mensch, just to confirm, it's either we're waiting, uh, we're either doing this now and if there's something wrong, we're having a special meeting next week and then an additional 28 days. So we're talking about 35 days. Correct. Or we listen to Mr. Luciano and it's 28 days. So this whole discussion is about 28 days versus 35 days if it's not correct. nothing. So correct. That's, that's, that, that's, that's really the issue. Um, the only other thing that you'd have to do if you if you follow Mr. Luciano's, uh, you know, that, that option, just reintroducing it, uh, the 28 clock starts today. You would have to come back next week to do a temporary budget because um, the CFO would have to prepare that to get you through that time frame. Um, and then you'd come back. I don't know if the next council, I think if you did today, the next council meeting would be within the time frame. In other words, you wouldn't have to have a special meeting in August. Um, if we do it by, you know, uh, retroactively approving the introduction and DCA comes back and says that they have a problem with that, then you would have a special meeting, you can call it whenever, but let's assume you have a special meeting Monday, um, and then the time would start from there. Um, okay. And, you know, you would still, at that meeting, you would then do your special, your temporary budget at the same time. You would introduce the current one, you would re you would do your temporary budget, and the clock would start, and, and you would then do final action at the other one. Um, either one, Okay. Those, you know, you so hear we, the pros and cons of it. We had a, a motion and a second. Can we have the vote, please? And, and by the way, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Luciano, Mr. Park, Mr. Kachubis, wh why don't you turn on your cameras? I mean, it's and this is only for the, um, Sorry, the, the I, first I, part of the Kid Republic approval self examination. Mr. There's a motion. We're doing first. Mr. Luciano, there's a ratification motion. That's yeah. it. Nothing else. The, the, and if 
can, turn on your camera so that the public can see their elected officials and appointed officials. Just so the record is clear, this would be to ratify the introduction of the budget and the budget amendments. And okay, then if that, if that goes forward and passes with four votes, then you can go on through the rest of your agenda. If it doesn't pass and the council wants to do the do the um, reintroduce path, then we would just vote, you oh, know, move on. Okay. Thank Thank you, you, sir. Um, Ms. Borchers, can you conduct a vote? Member Di Gregorio? Who is Richard Hurts? Member Di Gregorio? No. Luciano? No, because I don't think it's appropriate. Member Park? Yes. Member Begatz? Yes. Member Kipsaskis? Yes. Council President Katrubis? There's been a lot of work put into a lot of, uh, uh, into the budget, specifically right. the OEM, and I want to make sure that doesn't go, if we can try to buy them the time, I'd appreciate it. So I'm going to vote yes. Well, apparently, Mr. McGillis, there wasn't enough time put into this uh, by our professionals. Um, okay, so we got we have it introduced through ratification, and that brings up 22-147, which is to approve the self-examination of the budget. And I believe I need to open to the public. Before, before that, we... Mayor, can I just ask a question, please, of our council? Sorry, I'm sorry, wait. As I said, I believe I need to open to the public but it's not related to opening to the public. Finish. It has let me to do finish. with the last let me finish. question. I'm asking yes, Mr. Mench, please just sit there for a minute. All right, just sit there for a minute. Mr. Mench, do we have to have a public hearing on uh, that item? You can open it to the public on that. Okay. All right. Mr. Luciano, what's so, an what's so uh, anxious for you? I'll wait for the public to be done. Thank you. All right. Uh, can I have a motion? So I don't understand why I can't get a picture here. All right, Mr. Hertz, please mute yourself. Um, Laura, please mute him. Trying to find him. Who is he? Okay, can I have a motion to open to the I public just for purposes of 22-147, please? Oh, I make the motion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Laura, there's still a member of the public not muted. Richard Hertz. Good now? No, he's still not muted. Is he there okay? He, he keeps. Yes. Okay. okay. Are we taking a roll call or are we doing discussion? I don't know where we are right oh, now. We, 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 we open yeah. to the public. We're open to the public. Uh, okay. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. Aye. Aye. Uh, so if you're from the public, please uh, raise your hand virtually or uh, however you want. We try to recognize you for 22-147 only, and this is to approve the self-examination of the budget. No, I thought this was for the open the public for no, the no, last question. No. Okay. no, 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 we, we, we have an agenda that the rest of us are following. I know, that's why I wanted to ask the question about the last question, but that's all right, I'll wait. Okay, just wait. If there's somebody from the public who wishes to uh, please let us know. Uh, Okay. Uh, no one from the public make a motion to close excuse me, the meeting. Excuse me, Mr. Luciano. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm the chair. You're, you're the yes, man without the camera on. Okay. So can I have a motion to close to the public? I thought I saw someone with their hand raised. It's your own hand. No, besides mine. I know my hand. It, it's your own hand. That you don't recognize. Thank you. Uh, can I have a motion to close to the public, please? I'll make the motion. Second. 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 Uh, all in favor? Second. Aye. Aye. Great. Okay, so now uh, can I have can a I please be recognized now, or am I still waiting? What, we're in the middle of this. Uh, I know, but you said I was only going to wait till after the public portion, but I'll wait. Go ahead. Well, let, let's have a vote on twenty two dash one forty seven. This is to approve the self examination of the budget. Make a motion, please. I want to make a motion. Second. Can we get a roll call. Can we have discussion on this now or no? We got discussion. This is just, just self discussion. This is the self examination, right? Yes. Thanks. Okay, right. thank you. Go ahead. That's all. Member Di Gregorio? No. Member no. no. No, I'm sorry. No. You guys have reasons for no's? Would you like to articulate reasons for your no votes? Yes. The borough does need to operate and needs a budget to do that. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm voting no because I don't believe we're doing it properly. Okay, good. Uh, keep going, Ms. Borges. Member Bagats? Yes. Member Kapsaskis? Yes. Member Katrubis? Yes. Okay. It passes. Okay. Um, there, Mr. Parco? Yes. Okay. Um, there's someone's. Um, Somebody else? Someone's audio is, is here. Somebody have a TV on? Uh, Mr. Getz is coming out of your TV, I think. What? Uh, do you have a TV on? No, Hold on. Yeah. Your square is lit up. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, can I be recognized now, or do you still want me to wait? Uh, please wait. Uh, okay, next thank you. We're going to introduce 22 148. Uh, I'm going to open to the public 22 148, approving the introduction of the 22 municipal budget. So, can I have a motion to open to the public, please? I want to make a motion. Second. Uh, all in favor? Uh, yes. Okay. So, any uh, member from the public who wishes to be heard regarding 22 148, approving the introduction of the 2022 municipal budget, please raise your hand or just wave at me and I'll recognize you. Mrs. O'Shea's hand is up. Mrs. O'Shea, you are recognized. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, just very briefly, uh, without commentary, uh, I would like to uh, agree with Mr. Luciano and Mr. DeGorio that you need four affirmative votes for a money issue. And uh, uh, I believe the uh, attorney and the council made a mistake by proceeding with ratification. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anyone else wishing to be heard? My hand's up. Can I be heard? You're not the public. You still want me to wait? No, I, well, you tell me sometimes yeah. I'm the public, but I'd like to be heard at some point on this. When, well, the way it works is we have a motion, a second, and then we'll have discussion, right? So that, that's when Not always. Speak. I'm just, uh, can, I, can I speak as a member of the public? No. No? Okay, thank you. Because you, you're just going to repeat it again later as a member of the council. So let's just wait. All right, I'm done. But there's no one else from the public wishing to be heard. Uh, do I have a motion to close the public portion of discussion here? Yeah. Make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay. Uh, so we are going to need a motion now to approve 22-148, which is to approve the introduction of the 2022 municipal budget in effect adopt the budget for the, uh, the borough of Anglewood Cliffs for 2022. We have a motion to do that. Make the motion. Have a second. second. Okay, discussion, Mr. Luciano, would you like to discuss anything? Well, thank you very much, I greatly appreciate it. Since my fellow council members are so willing to push this budget to I have a few questions for you because I anticipate your vote to be yes. Um, we have, we're doing the budget right now and you want us to vote on this budget and last week or the meeting before that we had a discussion about um, park improvements Councilman D. Gregorio and myself both asked for the plans and what's in the park improvements never have seen them now I look in the budget that you guys want us to approve right? that you're going to approve and you wanted to push this forward so we have over $3.6 million in improvements at the field, at Johnson Field. Can any one of you articulate what's included in that $3.6 million and what makes it up that we're ready to push this budget through for a bond ordinance that's included in the budget for $3.6 million? So there, anybody, any of the council members, there, the mayor, there, anybody? I, I will actually weigh in. I haven't seen the... Um the final plans yet either. Uh, however, there is a discussion item on the agenda number nine uh, to, to, to address everything you just said. Well, I understand that, sir. If, but my question if, is, is that we're approving council, a budget. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If yeah, council yeah, would like to go, if council would like, if council would like to go out of order on the agenda and discuss no, that. We're now. already at it. We're in a motion. And we've already had a motion, a second, and now it's discussion. So well, fine. I would so, like to, I don't I'm want you to interrupt council. me. 
hold on. Just, hold, no, hold, hold on. on. Hold I on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you the turn. information. Relax. No, I don't okay. want No, 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 no. Relax. I'm chairing the meeting. It doesn't no, matter how. It doesn't have matter. You don't have a term. You don't have a term. You had a term. You okay. gave okay. me the floor, and I have the floor. No, no. I'm asking the question. I am asking the Okay, thank you, Mayor. I am asking the council. Well, you just stop. I am council. No, I am asking your council, the rest of the council body politic here, whether or not they want to discuss and give more information regarding the park at this point. If you don't, you don't have to. You could do it later in the meeting. It's up to you guys. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to say a couple of things on that, uh, if, if, if I may, please. Well, it's nice that I had the floor and I was asking questions and somehow He's I don't have the floor anymore Luciana, and it's going to Tim. So no, no, I, I'm not asking for the floor, Glenn. I'm just, I'm, I'm willing to, to, I'll do it any way you want. I'm not looking to jump in, in here in any way, so. Well, if I'm you're going to answer right? the question, if you're the one council person that's going to answer the question about, about what's to involved answer in your question. Yeah, I, I can answer a couple. Question. Oh, my God. No, Let no. him answer your question, please. You have to stop, because if, if you ask a question and you keep speaking, you'll never hear the answer. And that's why you get in trouble in every The meeting. only one speaking right now is you, Mayor. Mr. Luciano, please let Mr. Kachunas answer the question. So, Glenn, just um, uh, can you please repeat the question? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's that's kind of funny. Got, I'm going to answer the question, but uh, uh, let me, uh, I got my hand up and I'm going to answer you. The mayor says, Tim's going to answer me. Repeat the question. This is great. Yeah, okay, I'm going to repeat the question since yeah. you're willing to answer it. What is in, what have and how have you come up with the $3.6 million in park improvements? That, that let's be honest, I'll want to raise our hands. Who's seen plans? The mayor already said he hasn't seen plans. I haven't seen plans. I, no, no, what I I've said, asked plans. Clear, mayor, can you, 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 no, hold, on. Clear, you hold on? Clear, you hold on. No, you no, hold no, on. Please. No, no. I said I have oh not seen God. final plans. I have not seen final plans. So be very careful what you say. Okay, and how let's you see. Say the mayor has the last seen meeting, final plans. The last I meeting, haven't seen the council the hasn't meeting, seen it any. Turn out so well for you, as you Mr. Will mayor, out. this is why it turns to it really turns to garbage no, because this is what you do. My words. Can you please me. let me finish, even if they're wrong? Correct me at the end, like you like to do. Okay, no, sit the there top. and be quiet and let me talk. Response with you. Oh my God. So Tim. That's the question. The mayor said whatever. Who, who cares what the mayor said anyway? But three point six million dollars is in the budget. We asked when supposedly the, the the engineer came and talked about these improvements, and there was a pavilion. I'd just like to know how, just like that, with with what we were going out to ask for a grant. We had no plans. We're just going to ask for a grant and commit ourselves to money. Now we're going to commit ourselves, and it's in this budget. We haven't even had or introduced it to the public. The public hasn't even had a chance to respond to whatever plans that you guys are doing at the field. And now yeah. all of a sudden we're going to vote on a budget that includes three million six hundred plus thousand dollars that we're going to vote on right now. But oh, yeah, item nine on the agenda, ladies and gentlemen, is what they're going to tell us about the field after. So that was one of the questions. If you'd like to answer that, I have a couple more so that I don't get cut off. But when you're done, Councilman, I'd yeah. like to ask another one. Let's go one so, at a time. So let me begin with the discussion in council review, right? Number nine. That was not that was not put there by the request of the council. I think that that was just a mistake that was made, and it shouldn't have been put on there to begin with. A. Uh, so it's not like it's you, know, you have to understand, Glenn. There's a certain level of dysfunction within this borough, and we're all trying to do the best we possibly can to deal with that dysfunction. So. There's nothing, it's not as if, you know, I, I just, I just don't want you to, to I, I want you to feel rest assured that it's not somebody that's just trying to pull uh, the wool over somebody's eyes. Um, that's, that's, that's first and foremost. Next Wait, to address your did three. You want to, did you want to take that off the agenda? I thought you yeah, wanted... I do, because I really don't have, I, I, I personally don't have anything to add because I have not seen the plans yet as well. Now, I can tell you this much. There is $3.6 million that's allocated for capital improvements. And there's several reasons for that. Number one, we are in talks of having grandiose plans. And with that being said, nothing has been finalized yet. But we are trying to make sure that the budget gets moving along. And just because it's allocated to the budget doesn't mean that it's going to be used. 
And, you know, I have not been shy or I don't think any person member of this council has been shy in saying that we are looking into a project in, 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 in multi millions of dollars. So uh, we, we have to protect against a couple of things. Number one, we want to make sure that the budget gets passed along. Number two, we're dealing in an environment where costs are skyrocketing. And we want to make sure that we are we have uh, ample funds available to do whatever it is that we, we whatever it is that we're proposing to do. Uh, now, this doesn't bind the council to anything. Uh, I'm sure that you probably understand this. This isn't like your previous affordable housing uh, committee or anything like that that that, that put together a, 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 all these plans and and made all these things happen. It doesn't work that way. The council has to vote on this thing. We're not planning on uh, we're planning on giving a presentation to the council and to the public. The reason that you haven't had that yet, and I want you to know, is that uh, it, it there has been a tremendous amount of work that has been put into to, uh, flushing out these ideas. Um, and in the end, we're not going to come to the council with twelve plans as been done in the past. We're going to come to the can with the council with one plan. And one collective plan where there was several stakeholders that were involved and they were all uh, they had all given their opinions. And you'll have ample opportunity to uh, to look at that report. I, I spoke to David about this before. I would like the opportunity to, to invite you guys into Borough Hall and perhaps we can all sit around and talk about it. And then and, and this way you can ask these questions this way. This way you have more than enough time to digest whatever needs to happen. And at the same time, then you have, then you, then you can discuss it in, in, in public. But at this point, it doesn't make any sense. I think anybody who's worked on any sort of large plan knows that things are constantly, or anybody that's worked on any sort of large project understands that, that, that the situation is constantly fluid. And in the end, I just want to give you a comprehensive plan, push it in front of you, you can read it, and then we can talk it through. But this that doesn't that doesn't stop and like collect me correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Mensch. But that shouldn't stop the allocation of funds being put there. It, it, it's not as if we're doing something improper by doing it this way. We are planning on using the full amount possible uh, and allocating it to capital improvements. And I believe that there is extremely strong support from the public uh, on this matter. And Absolutely. that's. Yep. I'm sorry, I thought you were finished. I thought you were finished. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm done. No, I, the only thing I want to say, Councilman, is that once again, okay, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not for any of the project. I think as council people, we're sitting here now and you're asking us to put, first off, we asked for the plans last time. The mayor's going to say he hasn't seen the final, let's put the parent, the quotes around final plan, but there's been plans going around. OK, there's not been one discussion with the council and we specifically asked to be kept informed. And you know what? Yes, I, I'm not saying I'm against anything that's happened, but you know what? We should be advocates to bring as many. Once you have a plan, you bring it back to the council. We decide what we like about the plan, what we don't like. We form a final plan. Then we go out to the public or even during the process. You bring the public in to see what is going to be acceptable to them, what they want. OK, you might feel that in the committee, the five people, six people, 10 people, whatever it is. But as a, as a government body, all of a sudden we'd have no plan. We have no final plan. You're saying people put a lot of work into it. It's three, six, three point six million dollars. And this is the if we didn't look at the budget document, how many of you all would have mentioned that there was three million six that are going out to bond for it? And you know what? As a bond. We can, if whatever the number is, whatever your committee- It hasn't gone out to bond. I, I, Tim, can I, just, I let understand let what goes out to bond and doesn't. Right, let me, point let me being is, I, I wanna, no, Mayor, I, wanna, I still have the floor. So I'm I want to facilitate this. I want to get you to your answer. You have $3.6 million yeah. in the budget, and you never right. even had, no one had the, All right, I, I don't want to say the decency, but it's never been brought back to the council as a whole. And now we're going to have a budget hearing on it. And the council, my fellow council members, have not even been informed. Maybe you have, but this council member, myself, okay, hold, I'll speak for on, myself, has Mr. never been informed how you made up Mr. Luciano, the hold on six million. Mr. Luciano, yes, sir. You're you're partially right. I I, I don't like I'm your usually, that's being, usually, but if I'm going to agree with you on something, I'm going to agree with you on this. Okay, Mr. Katrubis, you gave him a non-answer. Why don't we do this? Why don't you just give a high-level summary of what your grandiose 
plans. I don't think it's so grandiose, but like I, what your plans are at a high level. We don't have the final uh, plans. I haven't seen them. Maybe, maybe you have, I haven't. Uh, just speak to the actual project, not to the process right now, okay? So we, we know what I understand is that there, there's going to be a reconfiguration of part of the park. There's going to be um, turf in fields and um, soccer field and outfield, right? Mr. Kaskis, I think that's what we had agreed to uh, when we spoke. So Mr. Katubas, can you just give him an answer that, that's meaningful, not just you know, well, we could do it in the budget. Spoke, talk and tell us. I mean, it sounds like you and Councilman Capsasis and, and Councilman Katrina well, had committee. some kind of conversation about it. And well, all we I'm saying, there's, my point, we, I don't need it right now. What there's we should committee. do is not vote on the budget because I think no, it's no, no. Really, you could still vote on the oh budget. Oh my God. Let me finish. You can still know, vote on the budget. Let me finish. That's what I should say. You can still vote on the budget. It's just that somebody needs to actually answer your question. And Mr. Katsubas, I need you to do that to make this process work better. Because otherwise, we're going to hear Luciano. Well, Mayor, Mayor, you seem to have all the answers. You're free to give them if you wish right. to. I mean, I, I know that it's... Okay, I mean, what do you need the I, I have no problem doing I mean, it. It's your committee, though. So I thought maybe you would want to lead. I will well, do look, look I, I do a, I do enough leading, Mar Mario. If you if you if okay. you wish no, to speak, speak, speak go ahead. This is supposed you know, to be simple, right? The next question. This is right? supposed no, to be simple. It. This is supposed to be simple. There's going to be uh, a small pavilion uh, that's sheltered. There's Where? going to be turf Where? Uh, for, for the baseball the pavilion, Let me finish, man. let me finish, because I'm answering your question because Mr. Katrubis okay. did not. So you hold on, Mr. Katrubis, hold on, and Mr. DiGregorio, put your hand down. I'll, have, I'll answer you later. There's going to be uh, a track uh, around that's going to be reconfigured somewhat. The children's park is going to be redone. Um, it is going to be a dog park uh, divided between small dogs and large dogs. My dog uh, will not be there in either capacity uh, as a small dog or a large dog, which he just doesn't like other dogs for whatever reason. Uh, we are going to do, we're going to actually um, clean up, make it nicer and put lights up over the tennis court, basketball court and, and baseball fields. Uh, did I miss anything from the committee? Yeah, I, I think it's just going to be a complete overhaul of the, uh, 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 of the, of the playgrounds. Okay, so what do you define as overhaul, Mr. Kubis? That that's what we need. We need. I mean, I would, I would, I would just add in there one of the major things, obviously, um, as a as a parent of, of young children who utilize the field as well, uh, which I'm sure a lot of people on this call are. Uh, a big a big factor is obviously the drainage issue, where um, that that would obviously get rectified here. Right. Um, to add to 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 the right. again, it's a vague description of things we've discussed, where yeah. the exact location of this, that, and the other. Um, it has yet to be finalized, but again, we're we're talking generalities, and we're we're awaiting uh, final uh, final uh, 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 conceptual plans from those members that are uh, taking care of it. Thank you. A complete um, overhaul is defined as brand new facility. Yes, of course. I just like to say, people people I, I, I have to say that I think it's 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 very disappointing. That we talk about, you know, in the past things that have happened and keeping people out of the loop. And it seems like between the mayor and Councilman Capsasius and Councilman Katrubis, there's been a lot of information out there and hasn't been shared with all of us. And that was a big so, thing that all of you made an issue about not being shared with so all the information. Believe me, I'm not losing don't sleep over it. The problem My second is, question is, is, is that, way. hold on, let me finish. Hold on. I'll let you finish. The, the problem is, and you, you failed understand this because you're just politicking right now but the public is here so i want to explain it to the public there's a committee form they're working with the borough engineer they're working with coaches and i thank them all for their time and thank you and i they're do discerning, too. they're discerning what to do and what not to do and yes there are things that i mentioned that are going to be part of the plan and that mitch mentioned as well okay when when the plan is done the way committees work mr luciano is they present it to the council and they present it to the public for comment and further revision perhaps or not. Okay. Mayor, I understand all that, but you, let me, are you okay with three points? I understand it, but you're politicking. And Mayor, you I'm not politicking at all. I'm asking a question. Are you okay with $3.6 million being in the budget and not having a plan? 
Are you are you okay with that? Tell the public because I want to tell the public, like the mayor. Yeah, I know, but that, public, that, that, that's right not, now yeah, that, this yeah, council okay. is asking me to vote. I, I, I like to speak Wait, on let that. me finish, please. Let me finish. <sighs> yep, go ahead. I know that there's a plan. This yeah, you mayor don't have to actually and spend this it. council, this council majority, is asking myself to vote on a budget that includes three point six million dollars worth of expenditures improvements that we don't have a plan. And we don't even know how much it's going to cost. So that I would just like to say. We don't have a final. You can say whatever you want. We don't have a final. All right. Can I speak on that? No, no. I would like to speak because I've had my. Go ahead and then Mr. DiGregorio. Let him answer the question. It's only. No, no, Mr. DiGregorio, hold on. Let Mr. Katrubis finish. So a couple of things. Glenn was not. What you said wasn't completely accurate Glenn. the just because you're allocating the funds doesn't mean that they're going to be used i addressed that before so we need to make sure that that's you know we understand that just because we are maximizing our dollars doesn't mean you're going to use them that's a will they be used i'm not sure yet i need to, I'm, we're still waiting for the engineer to come back with with uh with the price for some of these items so that's still open and that doesn't mean that we, we, should, we should give up our right of maximizing it. Number two, in terms of the committee, I agree. This was put out to committee. And we had asked Mr. DiGregorio if he wanted to join at first. He didn't want to. He turned down that, that post. Okay. And then uh, it, things changed after that. So, Tim. look, the opportunity was given. So you can't blame anybody Tim, because. I'm not. Bl Tim, just. I, I hate to interrupt. I I'm apologize. sorry, but you I can't say blame. The, the point yeah. isn't being. The point is, it's not about, you know, you try to sidetrack the committee. I understand the committee. I understand the process. My biggest complaint is that we're voting on a budget. The plan that we're going to discuss that you said shouldn't even be on the agenda. So technically, there's been no discussion at all amongst the council, right? And we're including because the committee, and even if, you know what, maybe if it would have been included to all the council, we wouldn't have this issue right now because we would have been able to hash out all of our concerns about the $3.6 million. But I look at the agenda and it says we're going to discuss the plans at number nine, but we're going to vote on a budget at number one. And we have $3.6 million. So it's not about the committee. It's not about the people that put in the time. I'm griping about, you know what, sitting here as a councilman and having asked at the last meeting or the meeting before that to be included in the plans. And now we have, first off, we're not doing the budget right. So my question before to you, Councillor, Mr. Mench, was tomorrow, if you could please put on your agenda to find out from DCA if we can ra ratify a, a vote. So that was the other thing that I, I had to wait 10 minutes before I was recognized. But so gentlemen and ladies, councilwoman, councilman, it's not a complaint about the process of we have a committee. It's a, if you were sitting on the council a couple of years ago, everyone ran on backroom deals and all this other stuff. Now, not bringing things to all the council members. That was the only point. And I'm not hitting you over the head with some kind of surprise. This is something that we raised either the meeting last meeting or the meeting before. So it's kind of disrespectful to then bring a budget before us and all the council members not even having a discussion about the plan. So that's it. I don't want to count it anymore. The second question that I had is anybody, any the mayor, any of the majority who's pushing this budget forward, I believe we had a we applied for a stay for uh, payment of fees on one of our lawsuits. And I believe it amounted to over $200,000 that we're ordered to pay. The stay by the appeal court was denied. Can someone tell me what line, where in the budget, the 200 plus thousand dollars is? Because you know what? We made plans for other things that we don't have no plans for. This we know about, and I'd just like to know what line. Anybody who's pushing the budget? Okay. The only the only thing I can say to that is I was under the impression that Chris had covered this topic when he introduced this thing. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I don't know any more than that, Glenn. 
So you leaving that with all due respect, Councilman. Don't isn't that something that we should be asking questions? We're pushing a budget let me, forward. Let me, let me jump and, in. And 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 we me, have questions me, hold about on, hold on. Hold on. on. I know I gotta stop this. The CFO, Thank yeah, you. hold on, because you're 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 defying logic. Don't war with reality. We have a CFO, a borough administrator, and a borough attorney who work on this budget together, along with other people in the borough. They're fully aware of the obligations, including obligations to, to pay people, the professionals, whatever. They're aware of that all. It's not fair, Glenn, for you to just basically say, give me what line number that is. That's not our job. Is it, it's okay, here, I'll, I'll make it broader. Do you know if it's in the budget, Mayor? They, I know. Do you know if it's in the budget, Mayor? It's in the budget because we pay people to make sure it's in the budget. Okay, and so that's everybody, why, the public, let me finish. Mark that the Luciano, you're said, very, you're very, very upset. Is no, in the budget. That's hold all on, I'm going to say. Luciano, hold on. Just, yes, just sir. zip it for a minute. For a minute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we know that our professionals are aware of everything that needs to go in the budget. And we are confident that they did that. And that is why we actually added in the park, okay? Because the timing of it is such that the plans aren't fully ready yet but the budget is being adopted now. So rather than have to go back and redo this budget, we, we know what it's going to cost. We're confident that this is the amount. You know what it's going to cost. We're confident that this Can is the amount. Can you share that with us? Hold on a second. We're confident that the 3.6 uh, with, with some money down, I think it's 5% that we have to put down, is what we'll need. And we'll have to go to bond if we go forward with the project. And that is if the council votes on it, right? The council will vote on it. And like Mr. Kachuba said, it may never come to fruition. The council may reject the whole thing. The council may not want to bond it. I don't know. This happened four years ago. It You're would have been a lot cheaper. To do. Let me finish. It would have been a lot cheaper. Question. Let me finish. It would have been a lot cheaper four or five years ago to get it done, but we couldn't get the votes to bond. Okay. And so now the park has gotten even worse. The children are getting cheated. The, the residents are getting cheated because they don't have a nice park. Right. So we want I, to do something for our no. residents. Give them a nice place. I agree with you. And I have just, a park. Okay. Mayor, but can you tell me you where the kids going to play during the, during the project? It's not going to come for nothing. It's not going to be free. Maybe but you're missing the mayor. Free, you you, you want to talk about politicking, free. Mayor? You you're have politicking. Because I'm talking about a procedure and not sharing information I just with all the council everything. members. I just and you're going to make it politics. We, at this point, Mr. Kachubis, can I have a motion to cut off discussion after Mr. I'd like to know about the 200,000. up next. Well, I'm, have but I have the floor, don't I? No, no, you don't have the floor You're cutting anymore. me off. Mr. DiGregorio has the floor. Mr. DiGregorio has the floor. Thank you, you are sir. now finished. Okay? Thank you, sir. Go ahead, Thank Mr. DiGregorio. Thank you. I think I've had my hand up for about 10 or 15 minutes. I you agree did, with... Actually, but Mr. Luciano wouldn't let you speak, so you should talk. I agree. I don't control the meeting. You do, Mayor. Um, excuse me. Give me, the I, Give me the mute button and I'll control it. I have the floor now and I'd like to speak. I agree with Mr. Luciano and his points. I think they were well made. Um, my uh, major concern is yes, we absolutely need to have a park that serves the residents, all of the residents in our community of 5,500. Definitely, that's a definite must. What bothers me is that we could have done this and I, I did not, I chose not to be on the committee for several reasons. It doesn't mean that we should be shut out of all information. In fact, it would be better if we were included, even if we're not on the committee, because then as the process goes forward, we're all respected and we all have input and we can get input also from, from the constituents, from the community. I feel very uncomfortable, especially with all of the litigation that we have to see $3.6 million in this budget um, without a concrete plan. Um, it would be much better and much more prudent if we had figured out phase one, phase two, phase three, and then go from there and take care of the, the taxpayer's money uh, and proceed deliberately forward, improving the park, but all together, all on the same page. We have a disjunction here and it's not healthy for the community. Thank you for finally letting me speak. Councilman Katrubas, if I may real quick, I know last year we, 
we had an issue with the one point seven. You have to be million. recognized, Mr. Luciano. Well, you weren't there, Mayor. I'm so I'm sorry I was talking. I apologize. Can I be recognized, please, or is it going to be a no? Yes, but wrap it up because we, we can't but wrap it up. That's a, that's a good way to run the meeting for your council. Well, because we heard everything. Council make it true. Last year we took um, we had an issue with the budget for one point seven million dollars in legal fees that we could have spent towards the park. What's your opinion about the legal fees this year? The 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 amount of money that we have in legal fees, and can any of that be used to offset this three and a half, six million dollar project that your committee is proposing? I think that um, you know what my position is in terms of everyone knows what my position is through my votes and what's going on with litigation, and everyone knows that I was always in favor of prudent litigation, and I've done, I've delivered in terms of everything that I've uh, basically you've ran for. So uh, yeah. I've Council brought prudence to I'm not litigation. I'm anything that you did before. I'm just asking if you happen to, and I apologize for interrupting you, but I'm just asking if you happen to look at the legal, I think that's part of your committee. But well, I think- To look yeah, at the I, legal I and do legal. you have an opinion as to if, because I think there's significantly, um, a significant amount of money for litigation that I think that could be reduced significantly, like we did last year. And now it's, I think, at $3 million for well, litigation. And I'm just asking, last year it was $1.7. At the value of litigation in the budget this year, did you – and if you say if you, if you didn't look at it, I, I, I'm not going to, you know, roll my eyes and shake my head side to side like the mayor. But if you didn't look at it, then say you didn't know. But I know last year – and no, I was I right on board with you. I can, I can okay. answer the question. And, it, look, in the end, last year, we all both – we both know, this council knows – that there was zero confidence in how things were being handled. And that's why we put the brakes on everything. Um, I had zero confidence in the way that the, the, that the plan with the, uh, with the ball field was rolling along. That was another reason why. This, the, uh, the plans that are, in, that are in place now are a far cry from what was put in place last year or even three years ago, I, 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 any previous years. So you so, do think that the three million is what we need is not overstated when last year when we were in the midst of the, the thick of the, the legal legal things that were going on and now we're at the back end of it and to go from 1.7 to 3 million, I'm just wondering. So you think that the 3 million is adequate and not overstated? I think that you know me well enough to know that I'm not going to, I, that I spend money as if it would be my own. And I know, Tim, I'm not, don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not saying anything no, no, I'm just, personal I'm just saying, about like, you, Tim, because please. it's there doesn't mean it's going to get spent. I, oh, oh, what I like to do is I like to present as much money as possible that we have available. And in terms of these capital improvements, it's a completely different story. Uh, it, when it comes to uh, market analysis, that's something that I'm very comfortable with. And in the end, I see there's no reason why any sort of capital improvements we should not. We, we should absolutely be buying into the rate of inflation, and it would be foolish to apply any sort of cash today's uh, any sort of cash toward uh, any sort of long term capital improvements. And that's my position on it. Well, it's only a five year capital improvement, but thank you. I do appreciate well, that. Well, I, 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 I think the, wait, the, wait, the wait, park has to be paid five, five years. years. It might, it yeah, might, when you go to capital, when you go out to bond for the park, it's going to only you have to pay it back in five years. It's not going to be it's three and a half million dollars has to be paid off in five years. I, I think that's mistaken. I is somebody I've heard that you can look bond at the budget them. document. I mean, no, it depends on what the classification is. If you buy a building 20 years, but I mean, we're, we're, but we're not in the budget that. documentation, if you look at the budget documentation, it shows that it's going to be paid in five years. Yeah, I think that that's uh, Mr. Mensch. Is that uh, it, does that bind the council to anything? I don't believe so. You have to talk to your bond council, but generally, I would assume a park improvement is going to be a longer than there's a schedule about how long things can last for. Right. Yeah. Most times, park life. improvements are going to be longer than twenty, you know, longer than five years, depending on specifically what you're putting yeah. in. Okay. I mean, if you're asking me my position, Glenn, I have I, I, I don't believe that it would be smart to bond for five years. Something like this would have to be bonded for far longer. Right, longer. Than yeah, no, my, I, I really was and I'm, I'm on board with that 100 percent. Thank you for your answer. I appreciate it. So Ms. Yeah. Fortress, um, in the process of approving the budget, uh, just confirmed that we had a, a motion and a second. And this was a discussion. 
we have the Tutrivas motion and Councilman Park second the motion. Okay, and that was a discussion. And so, uh, any other council members wish to be heard on this? Yeah, I just wanted to thank Glenn for catching that for five years. That was important. Thank you, Glenn. So, thank you, Councilman, uh, and thank you for recognizing me, Mayor. I appreciate it. The the, um, the vote can continue then. Member Di Gregorio. I am voting no for the meeting previously. Councilman Luciano. Member Luciano. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm no for the same reasons that I've uh, expressed. Member Park. Yes. Member Begats. Councilwoman, you're muted. muted. Councilwoman, you're muted. You're muted. You're still muted. Okay. Member Begat? Oh, what are we voting on? Can you tell me, please? We are voting on the approval of the budget. Oh, the budget, yes. Member Kapsaskis? Yes. Council President Kutrubis? Yes. It passes. Okay, uh, next on the agenda is number seven, department reports. We have the police department report and the building department report presented to the council. Uh, correspondence. Um, we have correspondence regarding um, the filming of um, succession of CNBC. Um, and um, I, I noticed uh, in terms of correspondence in the mail for the council members, there's there's mail piling up in some of your mailboxes. Um, Mr. Park, you have mail in there from March. So um, you, you ought to visit Borough Hall once in a while. Um, it's good practice. There might be things that are important in there that we should be looking at. Uh, discussion uh, number nine, park renovations. Hey, Mayor, excuse me. Uh, can we go back to the film for one minute? Yeah. Um, just as a point of clarification so that the council understands that the... You know, there's been an application filed to film, permit filming in the CNBC location at the, I think it's the last weekend in July. And there's an ordinance in place that requires them to provide a, a permit. There's fees that go with it. There's insurance requirements, things like that. But there's also requirements regarding notification to residents within a 200 foot zone two weeks prior to any filming. There's some other kind of uh, provisions in your ordinance, which would not really apply here, which is an indoor filming over one weekend. The way the ordinance reads is that the borough clerk is empowered to waive any requirements that the borough clerk deems appropriate to waive, but must notify the council uh, prior to doing so. It doesn't actually require a, a vote or, or ratification by the by the council, but the ordinance does say that the clerk has to notify the council, presumably to get input on that decision. So um, the production uh, has asked for a waiver of those of the formal notice requirements because uh, it's within the time frame that they would otherwise uh, they wouldn't be able to film at their location. Um, and uh, there's a, one or two other provisions that don't really apply don't really apply to situation where they're basically filming in a studio or in an office building internally on private property. Um, but that's the guy that, that's got to be raised and notified to the council. So the weekend, the planning on doing on the weekend ordinance says only Monday, Monday to Friday, Friday, but uh, they cannot do it during the week because there are still workers in the building. So they're doing it on the weekend. What do you need from us, Laura? Just, just to let you know that this is happening, just in case someone calls you and says, what's going on on CNBC? There's trucks, there's this, there's that. So it's just Do you need to vote on anything, uh, Mr. Mench? No. No, the, the ordinance doesn't requ it requires notification of the council, but it does not require a formal vote. I mean, look, clearly, if anybody has any, you know, serious concerns or objections, now would be the time to raise them to Laura. Um, if if the, any council member would like her to not waive those requirements, um, but uh, that's, there's no vote required and it's, the ordinance ultimately leaves it in Laura's discretion. Laura, thank you for at least letting us know. We appreciate it. Okay. All right, um, next, uh, number nine, I think we took care of already. That's the park discussion. Um, number 10, we have minutes for approval 
And um, Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to vote on these on the on a uh, on a consent agenda, a uh, consent uh, form. Okay. Oh, so, um, at once. So, so these are. Um, I'm going to read them out, and then somebody could so move it. Uh, okay. Altogether. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so January, uh, the, the minutes for approval are as follows. January 5th, 2022, the reorganization meeting. February 9th, 2022, uh, regular and closed sessions. March 3rd, 2022, regular meeting. March 24th, 2022, special open and closed session. April 27, 2022, closed session. And May 11, 2022, closed and regular meeting. So will somebody so move those? I make a motion to move all of them. Okay. I need a second. Second. Do have a roll call? Member Di Gregorio? Yes. Member Luciano? Yes. Member Park? Yes. Member Baguettes? Yes. Member Kipsaskis? Yes. Council Frozen Kitrubis? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I just want to note that some people in the public may be saying, well, how can people who are not at those meetings approve minutes from those meetings? I don't know either, but Mr. Mench told Mench. us last week, Mr. Mench told us last week that or last meeting that that was okay. So correct. Correct. Thank you, Mayor. That's correct. Although I don't agree with it. Um, can I open to the public? Uh, make the make the motion. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Okay. So Aye. this is a general public comment. Uh, you can speak about anything that you wish. If you're a member from the public, just raise your hand and. Um, I will recognize you. Please state your name and address. Anyone from the public? I see Ms. Geiger has her hand up. Ms. O'Shea has her hand up. Uh, yeah, Mrs. O'Shea, please. Uh, Mrs. O'Shea, unmute yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. In your in your resolution uh, twenty two dash ten, apparently whoever prepared it was using a, a copy from uh, Homedell Township, County of Monmouth, and called it a township committee. Um, so I think you need to uh, change your ordinance um, to uh, vacate. It was vacating an easement on Henry Street for Eight Henry Street. So it's the last paragraph on the first page. And it says the township committee for the township of Homedale County of Monmouth. So whoever prepared this was asleep at the wheel. Okay. Um, Mr. Manchin, did you prepare that? My office prepared it, yes. Okay. okay. All right. So. And uh, also in um, one of the other resolutions, I think it's with the um, uh, increase, was an increase in pay for... Uh, people uh it also used the word township and we are not a township we are a borough so again that um that uh is an error and i also want to comment um you are increasing um the pay on 164 for the registrar and the deputy registrar now um Lizette Duffy was the registrar while she was the clerk and even when she was acting administrator. And she never got an extra stipend for being registrar. So after uh, Laura Borges just got a $20,000 increase less than two months ago, I don't really feel it's necessary that we give her another $2,500. It's just like we're throwing money at this girl. I don't know what she does that she gets so much money thrown at her. And um, uh, with uh, Rosemary Weber, Rosemary deserves a little extra because she doesn't get that much. But I don't think that uh, the, uh, the clerk should be getting another $2,500. Okay, just my opinion. But in there somewhere where you have the salary ordinance or something, you use the word township. So maybe when you're um, going through it, you will see it and change it to borough. Okay. Mr. I don't know. 
All right, that's, that's all I have to say. Uh, may, I, may I ask a question? Go ahead, Mr. Gatrigas. It's it, it, Mr. Mensch, can you please speak on the approving, pro, approving appointment of registrar? If I'm not mistaken, this was something that must have been uh, brought forward by Chris. Uh, I'm not sure if it's something it, it's something because we have to follow the law or if, if somebody could just bring clarity that this was something that was brought forward by the administrative branch of the government or perhaps even your office. Yeah, this uh, Laura may have some more information on it, but uh, when we did the clerk appointment last time. Uh, we've never, we don't currently have a registrar, if I recall correctly, Laura. Um, yeah. So the borough needs a registrar. It's typically, not all the time, but oftentimes it will be the clerk or someone in the clerk's office who will do that role. And then there's oftentimes a, a deputy or assistant registrar. So uh, the borough does need a registrar. Um, that is something that is typically a clerk's office function. Uh, if you had a clerk and a deputy clerk, then Usually they, they would hold the titles or go from there, but you got to have a registrar. But they never got paid extra for it. Okay. That, that was part of their salary to do that job. And um, the uh, thing with the salary where you call it a township is the ordinance 2209. You call it the township clerk. Okay. So that, that needs to be changed to the borough clerk, but you're giving them each another $2,500 in the salary ordinance unnecessary unnecessary throwing money at people thank you okay um thank you mrs okay anyone else have their hand up this guy we're right in front of you mayor uh mr geiger uh karen geiger 270 alfred englewood cliffs i have a few questions um one is the uh payments that are due to the um, 800 Sylvan, to the other attorneys uh, with regard to the malpractice litigation. About two meetings ago, the question was asked, I believe by Mr. Luciano, as to whether the $1.1 million on the COA line included any money for judgments. And Mr. Mensch confirmed that when there were judgments, the borough would consider bonding for such or, let, or putting them into a five-year emergency appropriation, which would be spread out. The 216 is now a judgment that we have it's, and that we have to pay. The 216 is not in the 1.1 because unless the 1.1 has decreased for other legal services. So I would like to know as a resident where that money is coming from. It's very nice to say that the professionals know about it and for sure they must have included it, but it also behooves the borough attorney who will and the council to know what line that money is coming from and what will be reduced in order to pay it. Um, Another item is the 1.1 million that's for affordable housing litigation in the budget. That money, Mr. Katrubas, has not been reduced since the budget has been introduced. And I don't know as a resident what we are intending to spend 1.1 million dollars on in the balance of this year when we still don't even have an opinion from the appellate court on where we're going. A third item um, has to do with the park improvements. I strongly suggest that bond council be talked to quickly to, term, to find out the period of probable usefulness of the various improvements to the parks they differ depending on the improvement that's being made. And you wanna know what you're spreading it. The budget does include a five-year spread. It may or may not be appropriate, but you should know that as you go into it. Um, a and fourth item has to do with the parks on the Southern end of town. Um, last year, there was much concern about the basketball courts in the Southern end of town. They're in complete disrepair. The grass isn't being cut. 
The place looks like a mess. And residents were upset about there being basketball hoops, one of whom, one of the major people who was leading the um, group complaining about the noise and the basketball hoops has moved out of town. Um, but I noticed that the budget has 7,500 in it to put in new basketball hoops. I think that when this committee meets and looks at parks, you should look at all the parks and facilities in our town, both in the northern end of town with Johnson Field and in the southern end of town where we have a basketball area that is not used by residents to my knowledge, that is in disrepair. Maybe we need a tennis court in the southern end of town to replace the one that's become obsolete and is part of the affordable housing project. I just think that the scope of um, the committee should go beyond Whitty Field to address recreation in our complete community. Um, my, my final concern is on administration. I noticed that there's a $66,000, if I'm correct, item for a deputy finance, a deputy CFO. I'm not sure what the CFO is paid. I'm sorry, I didn't look it up. Now we have a deputy. I don't know if that's an existing person or a new person to be hired. I don't know that there's any plan, and I really urge this council to come up with a plan as to what's the appropriate administrative staffing for this borough, and then to hire and set salaries. This piecemeal approach really is not sound planning, doesn't go with budgeting, and doesn't really do well for the town. Okay, thank you. I'd like to address Ms. Geiger. Okay. I encourage you. I encourage you to run for council so you can solve some of our problems. Um, we're I doing agree. the best. We, yeah. We're doing the best that we possibly can. Um, and I think that your statements about the park uh, and poor planning uh, are inaccurate. But uh, we are. We are. We, our plans are all encompassing of many different things. And it just, it's just, it's not limited just to uh, any ball field or any field or anything like that. Mr. Katrubis, I don't recall making a negative comment about the Whitty Field improvements. I'm suggesting- I didn't say that you made, I didn't say that you made an, a, a negative comment. I said that you made an inaccurate comment. There's a difference, I didn't but thank comment you. about the Whitty Field improvements at all. I just- Okay, I, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I listened to you pretty carefully. I, I don't need to go back and forth with you. I'm, I just think I that just you, whatever you had said was not exactly accurate. I'm just I am, pointing that I out. Hope, I don't agree with what you had said. I thank you. I hope, I hope that the committee is reviewing parks throughout the town and not solely limiting itself to Whitty Field. I have not made any comment about the plan for Whitty Field because I have not seen any plan on Whitty Field. And so it is impossible to make an intelligent comment about that. Well, I know you choose your words very, very wisely, Ms. Ms. Geiger. So when you go out and you print something on your eye in the cliffs, I just want to make sure that you are have been put on notice. That's all. Well, if there are other plans, Mr. Katrubis, for the southern end of town, yes. please inform the council and the public what yeah. those might be. Can because right in? now, the budget <laughs> only has a line item for Whitty Field improvements and $7,500, I believe, for replacement of basketball hoops in the southern part of town, which may or may not be desired by residents who live here. Okay. Right. Let me just jump in. Thank you, Ms. Geiger. As, as delicious as it is watching the two of you go back and forth, uh, I just want to, um, to add uh, that I, I agree that the, that the park in the southern part of town um, is, is not in good shape. It's not in good condition. And we're, we're doing things uh, serially. We're, we're taking care of the park up here first. We're, we're, we're talking about the, the park that you've referenced. Uh, but we're going to focus on this one first, and then I'm going to ask the committee to, to transition over and uh, start um, uh, start dealing with that park as well. And, and maybe you know, maybe your suggestion that tennis courts 
um, or at least one court go there, um, maybe that will work. I'm, I, I, I would just like to see it utilized uh, by the most people possible, right? So, you know, basketball affords you the opportunity to have, you know, 10 people out there playing at a time, tennis for max, right? Um, so we'll, we'll consider that. If you have any uh, suggestions uh, to Mr. Kachuga's point, which was a good point, if, if you have any suggestions, you, I mean, you certainly don't have to run for government. I know it's too much fun writing about it, but you could actually tell us what you think would be good there um, since you seem to be very engaged and engaging sometimes. So um, go ahead. We welcome your comments. And um, I can't wait to see how this looks in black and white when you print it. You'll find out. But that doesn't, answer, that doesn't answer my question about the 216 and where it is in this budget because it wasn't included in the, in the COA affordable housing litigation line when the budget was developed and that line has not changed at all. Okay, so, so I don't know where that might be and I'm glad that you have confidence in the professionals, but the professionals didn't have it in the budget two months ago. It wasn't in the budget last month. And so I don't, and in fact, it was on appeal and the appeal was denied. So they would have no reason unless someone in the governing body directed them to do so, to increase that line to provide for it. So I just want to make sure that in this budget that you've just adopted, you're not going to have to go out and do a five-year note for the 215 or 216, which would cost other money, or that other services which are important that you have voted to support will not have to be compromised in order to pay these funds. So um, I just need to ask Mr. Mensch if he's made it clear uh, what the obligations of the borough are in terms of litigations to the financial people of the borough. Since you yeah, are- Before, before Mr. Rath. Yes, Mayor. Before Mr. Rest left, I provided I had a couple conversations about you know potential legal costs, both from fees of paying attorneys and potential liability. I don't know what item line item specifically that things are in. Uh, it was discussed, but the council and the public should know that the way the budget process works is that um, you know if for some reason, like anything, right, a budget's the best estimate of what's going to occur. So if all of a sudden an item, one line item, whatever the item might be is higher than anticipated, then at, then at the end of the year, starting in November, the borough is able to transfer funds from items to another. So if, if the legal budget line ultimately starts going higher than anticipated, then come November, your CFO would start proposing budget transfers to move things from one place to another. And that happens all the time as a matter of routine, you do your best guess. So- um, So, so Ms., uh, Ms. Geiger, when you write about this, I want you to get this part of it very correct and right, okay? The borough will take care of all its valid obligations in a timely manner. You wanna repeat that after me or did you get it? You don't have to be disrespectful. Mario, you do not have to be disrespectful to me. I am very, very well actually, aware. I, I, of actually, the I'm not licensed to do that, actually, because Excuse of the way you write me. about all of us. Excuse so You're not licensed to be disrespectful. So I'm not licensed to do that. Mr. If you Mayor. don't like it, don't write about it. But I, mean, I, I want to be very Mayor, clear that the borough will pay all its Stop valid obligations in a timely manner. And I want to tell you tell that me. when you have an obligation that you have to pay and you know about it, at the time the budget is put together, you have an obligation to provide for it at that time. That happened four years ago and you were sanctioned by the Division of Local Government Services for yeah. not making adequate provision. Okay. So I am just cautioning you to provide for obligations that you now know you have because this is not an item that has come in after you approve the budget. This is an item that is in place before and you approve the budget and is known to you. Well, here, here's the point, right? Mr. There is Mench, no point. Mr. I've said no, what I have to say. Okay, you said it and I have the floor. Mr. Mensch may or may not be correct. 
we never know, right? Until later on. But the thing that you should write, and you should get this straight, is the borough will pay all its valid obligations in a timely manner, as we have always done. Okay. What you should write is that none anybody of the else and not the anybody mayor, but Luciano, you don't have the form. You don't have the form. The That's what you should. You don't have the form, Mr. Luciano. Anybody else from the public wishing to be heard? Okay. Could I have a motion to close the public portion? Make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We, we have um, a whole host of resolutions, but I just want uh, to, Mr. Mensch, uh, don't think I'm picking on you uh, too much yeah. tonight, but we, we actually uh, cannot accept the way you're presenting these to us because the day of the meeting uh, is the day of the meeting. We don't have the luxury of the time that you might have to, to read all these things in a timely manner. I had actually canceled a client meeting to catch up to everything that you were so late presenting to us. It, and, and a lot of it is sloppy and it's late. So I don't know if it's a matter of you're just too, being too busy dealing with all the fires in Bridgewater as the mayor there, uh, or backwater, Bridgewater, whatever it is. Uh, but, you know, we that actually one, told one, you one, that one, we one, need one, to one. see these things the week before the meeting, not the day of the meeting. It's just entirely unfair. And I'm sure that you as mayor of your town demand to have exactly what I'm telling you we have to have. So if you're too busy to do the job as lawyer for Borough of Englewood Cliffs, then you need to leave. But if you stay, you need to get your work done and you need to get it done right. We are a borough, we're not a township. We're in Bergen County, we're not in Monmouth County. We have a mayor and council. We don't just have a council. Many of your resolutions just speak to council. We have a governing body, Mr. Mensch. The governing body is comprised of the council and the mayor, okay? And, and your resolutions are, are pretty garbagey wherever you just talk about the council. You can't cancel me. Other people have tried. You'll be the last one to succeed. I trust me on that. So I just need you to get your act together. If you give us opinions, make sure they're right. If you're not sure, recess the meeting and go research it and come back. I service, I service clients as well. If I don't know the answer, I Can take a break, on? okay? And I find the answer, but don't go off the cuff. Next so, on the agenda is resolution 22-149, payment of vouchers. Uh, this is um, the payment of vouchers that we're approving tonight. Uh, Ms. Borges, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have 900,000. $343 and 67 cents. That's correct, Ms. Okay, can um, can I have a motion to approve that? I'll make the motion. Second. Second. Okay, um, can I have a roll call? Member Di Gregorio? No discussion. You want a discussion? Okay, we'll have a discussion. Okay, I'll just start figuring out what I've got to Did you want a discussion? I can't hear you. <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to know, on the, are there any, um, on this bill list, I see there's reimbursement for, for mileage that we haven't approved. And I was wondering who approved it and how are we paying mileage when it's not a policy yet? I think we did it last meeting. No, uh, the last if week? I'm not mistaken, Laura can probably answer okay. that. Okay, then enough said. We'll move on. All right. Uh, Thank you. Yes. Member Luciano? Abstain. Member Park? Yes. Member Begats? Member Begats? You're muted. Yes. Member Katsaskis? Yes. Council President Katrubis? Yes. It passes. Thank you, Ms. Borchers. Um, we are going to move 22 150. Mayor, Mayor, I have a couple of things to say on that before you, before you make any comments. Malarkey's uh, consent? Yeah. So they're all going as one. Okay, if you I would want, also like to pull Mr. Kutubis had the floor, Mr. Luciano. Thank you, sir. So, a, cu a couple of things, right? Uh, number one, I just want to make sure that um, 
167 has to be more clear. It should not only be rejecting a report issued September 1st, but it, I believe that there was another one that was on September 29th. And I just want to make sure that this resolution is all encompassing of that or September 30th from Jared Geist. Uh, it, uh, can you please uh, give clarification on that, Matt, before we continue? Yeah, yeah Council President, um, I would recommend that um, you recuse yourself from discussions on that on that topic. Um, and, Even the payments? Uh, yeah, because because this resolution includes the, both the payment and commentary on the report itself. So I would recommend that you okay you recuse yourself, and we handle that one item as a separate item, and um, that you should uh, get removed from the dais on that on that topic. Well, that's... And I'll I'll address uh, two minor points on that when uh, that comes. If I may, counselor. If hold I, on, Mayor, can I be recognized? Hold on, Mr. Mr. Counselor. Mr. Piano, hold on, I was speaking. Um, I <laughs> I just want to make a point here, uh, Mr. Munch. Oh. Number one, throughout here, you, you you refer to the council having done things um, and having met. So either uh, this is inaccurate, which it is, because I I don't I don't recall having uh, meetings on this, or you're violating the Open Public Meetings Act by meeting uh, outside of the purview of the public. Number one, number two, because there are pending litigations, I believe uh, in civil and criminal context, I am concerned that what you are doing, Mr. Mench, and anyone who votes along with what you want, in effect are tampering with witnesses in proceedings that are pending. Mayor, if we're gonna discuss this topic, we, well, Councilman so, Katrubis needs to recuse himself and should well, leave the dais. Well, the fact is, Okay, so like should I leave the day? Well, no, 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 hold wait, on, wait, wait, if I may. Mike, I... Hold on, hold on. No, no, I won't say anything else about that. But if if you're referring to counsel here doing things, I don't see anywhere in here that you're saying that you didn't already speak with Mr. Kachubis to get to this point. So this is a mess. Wait. It's mayor, a hot if, mess, okay? Mayor, and if, a lawyer- Mayor, a mayor, lawyer, we cannot, we Council President Kachubis, if we're going to talk about this topic now, we can do so it, but I would suggest that we leave. It's clear that you've talked to him, sir. No. Are you going to Fair. go under oath and say you didn't? Because Fair. you, in effect, are tampering with a witness when you do this. Mayor, huh. you, you're, if we're going to talk about this, then we should talk about this item now. Councilman Petrubis can recuse himself. He should step down, essentially, from the dais, the virtual dais, because he has a conflict. And then we can discuss whatever aspect of this you want to talk about. I don't want to talk about anything. I'm just pointing out to you that, A, it's factually incorrect. Okay. Mayor, you should not talk about this resolution until Councilor Petrubis steps down. Councilor Petrubis, you should step down now because the mayor is not right. listening. Does that mean you're I need to log off of this call? Mr. Mench, why does he even have it then if it's something you don't want to talk about? Mayor, it's a public document that went out to everybody. Exactly. I'm but, speaking to a public document. It's inaccurate. Right. Tim, Number you one. should step down from the dais because the mayor wants to talk about this now. And so we'll bring I'm going to leave the call. Is that correct? correct? Yes, I'm leaving the call. Is that correct? Why, yes. why do you guys want to create more problems? Mario, can I just get the answer so before before we continue, please? Oh, yeah, am, I, am I logging off this call? Yes, Matt? log off. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no, wait no, this no, is a public no. meeting. Wait, can I just ask a question first of you, counsel? I apologize. He yes. has to recuse himself. He made a comment that he was discussing about other things that weren't related to what he needs to recuse himself about. Is that right. not true? If there's three reports, right. only one of them he needs to recuse about the comments right. that he was making. Right. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Right. My, my, my suggestion, okay, because what typically happens is someone has a conflict, okay? What occurs to avoid the appearance of a conflict of interest, if we were in person, then whoever has a conflict would step down from the dais and leave the chambers, okay? So that they're not influencing the discussion and there's not the appearance that they're influencing the discussion. They may know what the discussion is about. It's a public meeting. It's not that they don't know, but the issue is the appearance of somebody impacting the discussion and actions of the council. So if we're going to talk about this resolution, which includes topics from which Councilman Katrubis has a conflict, he should step down from the dais. We can talk about the resolution. I understand his comments and I can respond to them, but it, it's, it's, he should be recused from this conversation. 
Correct. But he, how, do the down from, how do you step down from the, he was saying leave the call. He, how do you step down in a virtual world? He just needs to sit there and not say anything. I, I'm just saying that I think the best practice for, for Tim, yes. Could he just sit there and, and mute himself? Well, yes. Why doesn't the clerk put him in a waiting room and right. Right. Don't right. Right. bring him back? Yeah, either way. Just so, so long as he's with Manch, as we're all here in front of the public, will you swear that you have not communicated with Mr. Mayor, I'm not under I'm not under cross examination. The issue here <laughs> I didn't is think that you council, would. And, and, and by the way, Mr. Mench, who asked would you? Would you swear that you didn't speak to Mrs. O'Shea Mr. about Mr. Your, your, your little game this? about what happened with, with no, Mr. Mr. Mench? No, I have the floor. <laughs> this is how it works. The, Mr. Mench, who the, asked you to issue, prepare this? Or did it just issue, appear out of poof, the, out of thin air? The issue is that we have had over and over. Look, Tim, you should, everyone is insisting on talking about this. Tim, you right, need can you put me in the meeting. waiting room, please? Put you in the waiting room. Okay, he's okay. in the waiting room. Okay. So, so the absurdity of this whole thing, you have a council member who can't even participate because you've prepared something, presented it to the public with him here. What are you doing, Mr. Mench? This makes no sense. And why? You know why. Why is it even here? Who, who prepared this for you? And why do you want it? interfere with witnesses in pending litigation. Okay. Makes no sense. So there's an item on the agenda. The council can vote on it or not. They can vote yes or no. You didn't answer my question though. Who asked you to prepare it? Mayor, we have to respond. We've had this issue with regard to the, the council did. constant guys report. The, when did the council ask you to prepare this? Because I wasn't invited to that meeting. And neither was the public. Mayor, there's- when we Is that what we're doing now? We're doing Mayor. things in the back room? Mayor, this every single item, backwater, sir. Mayor, We're every single item, that's, every single item that's been on this agenda, but the council didn't get together as a whole and ask to prepare. Council members ask me to prepare stuff all the time. Some stuff we do on our own because we need to be done. Some stuff comes from the administration. You never, you never call me. I'm the mayor. You never inform me of anything. You only come to me when there's a problem that you can't solve without going around my back. <laughs> So that's the only time you come to so me, Mr. Mayor, Mench. Mayor, and that's a, a bad way to lawyer because you know why, Mr. Mench? You represent okay. the council and the mayor. That's the government. Can we move on? We can move on anytime somebody wants to make a motion on this. Well, but yes. Be, so, clear, Mr. Mench, for the record, you did not tell us who asked you to prepare he, this. You did not deny that you spoke to Mr. Kachubis about this. And you did not he, deny that this is an effect witness tampering. Okay. okay. So I, have I have a question, place. Mr. Mayor. Can I be recognized, please? Yes, sir. Um, I'd just like to know of the council members who has read these reports, because we're going to vote on them. And I'd like to know if the new council members have seen the reports or read the reports. I mean, I don't even think I have them. I certainly well, don't have them. I don't think you them. have them. You don't, that, that's, that's comical. You can't even hold back your smile. You don't think you have them. Come on. I don't have whatever. There's a new, there's a, apparently, there's a new oh, report please. that I don't have. I know. Is, isn't that and the biggest Mayor, you know everything. Oh, you don't have the report? No, no, I, don't, I don't have whatever is going on since September. So funny. No, no, no. It's not funny, actually. It's very sad. It's really, it is sad. It's sad that you're dying in the darkness here. It's dying in the darkness. I'll make the motion. Dark office. I'll make Mr. the motion. Well, why why are we going to take me a copy of that report? Well, before Mayor, we do May that, I did. I did on June twentieth at seven fourteen. If you report. check your emails, you yeah, sure did. Can I? Can I ask? I'm a question, sure you please? did. You on the it. agenda, can we just separate out since this is a consent agenda, Mr. Mayor? Can we just get a consensus on what we want to pull out, or do you want to just do one sixty seven first? I don't care. I'm. I'm just. I just want to because I have a couple that I'd like to remove from the consent agenda as well. I, I just don't like sneaky backroom deals. Okay. Well, that doesn't answer my like question, man. I don't like that. that. Stay yes, on point. Pull it out. In fact, it shouldn't even be. Reconcentrate here. on the question, you're creating, man. Creating, Mr. Mench, you're creating more and more liability for this borough. This is why the meetings so long. And your unprofessionalism. Yeah. You got to stop. Okay. It. So, Mr. Mayor, since it's your meeting, can you please answer my question, sir? So we'll 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 vote on a consent agenda. Uh, and as we do it, whoever needs to abstain from 167 can do so. It's very well, the consent agenda, my question, sir, is the consent agenda is usually you do them all at one time. Did, would you like to have, know piano, from us which, can I, still, I finish? Can I finish? Piano, can still I finish, please? Call. No, let me finish. Can I finish, there's please? Okay, you, you're, you're no. There's ahead. still a roll call for whatever anyone wants to pull out. They could pull out. They don't have to. I know, them. but the last time I did that, you complained and said, let's pull them out. So I'm just Never asking. Complain, you. Mr. Lucia. No, you don't complain. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. That's fine. 
Councilman, the only thing on 167 first. No, we're yes, doing we Okay. But Mr. Yeah, I don't. And Mr. Mech, maybe you can explain to me how we do a consent agenda and then pull things out by mayor's. Do you have a rabbit hat? Do you have a hat that we can pull the rabbit out of? People could recuse. They could vote no. They could do whatever they want. But so, so if we're if we're voting if we're voting on anything other than 167, then we need to bring Tim back in. And then if we're doing 167 later, I would suggest you do 167 now. Exactly. And then you could deal with the rest of the resolutions afterwards. Yes, absolutely. And, and to be clear, to address you know the point that was raised earlier, this resolution is intended to respond to the September 10th report uh, with the report that you've all been provided and to disclaim paying any bills to Jared Geist for any of the work that he did in 2021 that remained look at what you just did, Mr. Mench. You just took direction from the person who- Mr. Capsasis, you, did you read finish. the report? Let me finish with Lucy enough. You just took direction from the guy who you told to go to the waiting room because they had a conflict. Mayor, so I didn't take direction. In, you're changing the resolution based on the person who told you what to do. So wh where is your credibility at this point tonight? Well, you what don't do you vote, so let us vote, Mayor, please. But I would just, still just like my question, because I think that, you know, maybe Robert's okay, rules okay, doesn't uh, say, but I don't know how we're going to vote if you haven't read it. 67, until you can really think this through, Mr. Mench, because you're creating more... No, I, I think we're going to move forward with a vote. I just want to know how... Okay, so more efficient way is that we have to separate the right now or 167, and then we have to bring back team here. That's what we said. That's we're trying to get the vote done. Yes, let's move on. I have Mr. Luciano as a motion. I need a second. Yes, second. Yep. second. Discussion. Once again, is anybody willing to say Mr. they've Robert, read the report? Mr. Discussion. I'm sorry, Mr. Luciano, you can't keep interrupting because you're not the mayor, you're not the chair, you're a councilman. Well, I run all, the meeting. I Mr. Mayor, I just like to say it usually was. you go from motion Mr. second. Mr. What is the motion, Ms. Borges? Well, that's why I just wanted to remind this, you. This is for to approve resolution 22-167. Separately. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we all know the okay. voting people. Know. There's a motion, there's a second. We've had discussion. Anyone else want to discuss? Mr. Manchin? Well, we didn't have discussion because I'm just wondering if anybody who's going to vote on it has read the reports like everybody else did because we have new council members that it appears as though they might vote on it. And I'm just Mr. Manchin, do you want to completely bury yourself said. on this one? Do you have anything else to say? I don't think I said. Okay, let's go. I'm done. Member Di Gregorio? No. Member Luciano? Member mm, Luciano? Come back to me, please. Member Park? Yes. Member Baguettes? You're muted, Councilwoman. You're muted. Hold on. She's muted again. This is for, yeah. this is for the separation? Yes. For the, no, no, this is the vote on 167. Oh, if to pay or not to pay? To accept, we'll read 167, ma'am. Disapproving, it's disapproving, it's to disapproving of payment pay. to Jared Dyson, rejecting the report issued September 1st. That's why I was asking if everybody read the September 1st report. That's all. I did not read it. Um, I heard okay. about it. Okay. And I'm voting uh, for the resolution, not to pay. You vote no? No. Yes, you mean. You vote I mean, yes? That means that's yes. I heard a no. What is to, it? To reject. To reject the payment. I voted to, to accepting reject the payment. That's yes. yes. So, so that okay. means okay. yes. I'll okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. Look of Saskis? Yes. I abstain. I know you had to come back to me. I don't yes. know you didn't call me, but no. I abstain. Okay. It's three yes, one no, one abstention. Test. So I'm going to now you can bring back council. I'm going to bring Councilman Petrubis back. I need a motion to approve by consent agenda. Well, I'd like to remove I'm one. I'm sorry, I'm speaking, Mr. Luciano. Is it so difficult for you to just stop for a minute? Why do you sound so finish? hostile? Be because you keep interrupting me. But Will before you, you move the consent agenda, I want to remove stop. I am in the, the middle of a sentence. This, this meeting would have been over an hour ago if you, if you stop talking. Follow the rules, okay? This is a consent agenda for 22 150 through 22 168, excluding 167. If anyone has anything to pull out when you vote, you could just pull it out then, vote no or abstain. <laughs> Mr. Mench, you're 
Well, you have a roll call, please. I don't have a motion. Actually, Gavin, I need a motion. I want to make a motion. Second. Second. Mr. 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 Park, I want to make a motion is you want to make a motion. You have to make the motion. Not yeah, I want to make a motion. I, you make it. 152, you know, except 167 to 168, right? You yeah. already mentioned yes. that. He's yeah. just playing it's, semantics with you there, Councilman Park. It, it, it's just, look, we, we have to have active verbs. I make the motion, okay? Yeah, so, I want to so make a motion. You already did it. So that's why I just follow up through 150 right, to 168, second. except the 167. You're that's right. Not. You're right, Mark. Yeah. You're right. He's just being the mayor. It's just. Okay. I second. The word choice is not proper. Go ahead. Member Di Gregorio? Well, wait, discussion. Discussion is correct. All right, what do you want to discuss, gentlemen? Thank you. I would like to remove 154 as a separate vote, 160, or at least have a separate discussion on them instead of in consent, and then just say, oh, well, I'm not going to vote on that and not have input from the other council members. 167, we already discussed. So yeah, 154. Okay, so which is the payment of authorizing this? Can I finish, please, Mr. Mayor? No, actually, there's. Can I please finish, Mr. Mayor? No, One no, time actually, that you give me the floor, I would love I if you just you, let me uh, finish. There's a motion and a second. And now it's for discussion the, for the entire item, right? I know because you the, refused to allow me to remove it before. Your discussion is not to remove. Your discussion is to discuss 160, uh, 154, 160. And whatever else you want to discuss. That's what you yeah, see. Say. That's why I wanted to, to do it separated before, but you didn't want to do it that way. It's not being separated. So it's your meeting. So how do you, how do you want to do it? Right, I so want to pull 154, 160, and have those as a separate discussion and a separate vote, please. Can we Our, return Tim? But then you have to. Tim then should you have be back. Have a separate motion. I'm back. I'm back. Can I just, ah, okay. can I, I can I just jump in here real quick, Glenn, just so I'm clear, or whoever, sure. just so I'm clear? What you're proposing, Glenn, is you like to make a, a, a uh, consent, remove uh, consent, and then you're removing 154. Tim, 150, yes. Yeah, 154. What I wanted to do, which the mayor refused to do, because he was just being the mayor, is I wanted to remove. It's not my it's, agenda. Your council did not go along Once again, Tim, what I wanted to do, I want, no, you didn't go for it. You didn't let me make the motion. I don't have a vote. Well, then let me make the motion. And so make, make, the, the make, the motion. make the motion, Glenn. Just make the I'm, motion. Well, we're already in a vote. I mean, because the, the way the mayor runs things is backwards. But I wanted to remove 54 for a separate discussion. And if he doesn't want to do it, then we do it now. I mean, 154 to me is... Why don't you just discuss it? What is the issue that you want to discuss for 154? Go ahead. What's there? What, what's your issue, Mr. Luciano? What's my issue? issue? What does it say? We're authorizing the CFO to make payments before we authorize them. My count, the mayor and my other council members don't see a problem with that, that we're authorizing the CFO to make payments before the governing body approves them. So that's okay. a good point. I think know. that's a big point. No, Mayor, I'm talking. Once again, if you'd let me finish, I would greatly appreciate it. I just said it. that's but, a but, good but, point. I know, but, but, but. That's a good ahead. point. Just say no. But, Vote no. Let, let me jump in. But I want to hear discussion from my other council members as to the reasoning why they think it's a good idea to let our CFO pay bills before we authorize them. You know what? If it's an emergency, wanted, if it's okay. something that's valid, but yeah, it's a bad idea. It's can a bad I idea. please finish? Let the council. Can I please question. finish? Relax. Let the. I am trying to relax. It's, this is what the you're good at. Your this question. is what you're good at, Mayor. You, you okay. Ask Let the me question. finish. Or I'm going to interrupt you every single you ask time. The question. It's a good question. Say. I agree with you. Well, let me finish. from council who wants to defend this. So I'd like to speak on this a little bit, if you don't mind. So I, I think what's going on here is he's he's making the payment, but they're not going out until the council approves it. And I think that this what this revolves around is the situation that we have now where finance is not there and we're approving these things uh, uh, via vote. Uh, and, but at the same time, now uh there's nobody there to make the payment right so i i think what they're just trying to do is just uh, approve it and then once the council ratifies it then it's okay yeah that's like i pay a bill before the council even looks at it and pays it if for an emergency listen 
As a CFO, he's not paying it though. But let's hear what he's Matt not has paying. He's processing yeah. it. He's just processing. It. They do that now. We're, 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 listen, the, the bills that are on the bill list tonight have already been processed. Processing so it doesn't mean they're he's going. He's already out. doing that. He's already doing that. What are you talking about? Okay. He's not yeah, guys, doing. Uh, it. Council You're President, able to do it. Let's see he's what Matt has to say it. about it. He's so already I, doing it. I just wanted to clarify, this was something that was put on at the suggestion of uh, former Administrator Rass. Um, it's limited to certain categories of stuff. These are your salary and wages, your taxes, your debt payments, Here your utility expenses. Okay. It's not, it's not things fixed. like, a ter- it's not things like attorney bills. It's not things that are. Is that any- in the resolution, Matt? Yeah. So it lists right at the beginning, it lists the, the six categories of payments, but it would actually allow the CFO to pay them. So this is the kind of thing where uh, exactly. the reason this came My up point. is because uh, because the borough meets once a month, and sometimes there's other reasons why you may or may not meet. There's been certain instances where they're concerned that if there's a problem, council doesn't meet. You know, there's not a quorum. There's whatever. There's you know storm, and you can't meet. Then there's no authority to authorize payroll. There's no authority to pay your electric bill. So. What Administrator Rass has suggested was exactly. payroll gets paid no matter what. Uh, I'm just raising the issues that Administrator Rass raised was that there are certain recurring normal expenses within the borough that you have to pay, and that this resolution would give the, the CFO the power to pay those things like pension payments or uh, you know utility bills prior to the council voting on. So I'm not a fan would, of that, Matt. Would you, Matt, Councilor, do you have that in place in your in your borough? Uh, we have a different system of, of government, okay. so our council doesn't need to approve any bills. Oh, I just okay. I'm do sorry. it myself. I just have, for speaking those. personally, I have a problem. Like a council, councilwoman, councilman. I mean, you said it's not starting the process, as Councilor just told us, Mr. Mitch. It's about paying the bill. It, it is about paying. before you authorize it. So that's my. If, I just wanted to raise that. 160, um, I'm concerned if someone want to comment about the resolving fee. I think we discussed this, but I think we probably need a refresher and maybe the public wants to know as to, I think the issue was originally it was a 300 something thousand dollar bill, which didn't have a exceed more than 75,000, but somehow we wound up with a $300,000 bill to uh, Senator O'Toole's law firm. And so now we're settling, I believe, for two hundred and approximately thirty thousand dollars of the three hundred thousand dollar bill, three hundred plus thousand dollar to um, O'Toole's law firm. Is that correct, Mr. Mensch? Yeah. So the original bill was for three thirty. The council uh, had generally agreed to resolve that with um, uh, the O'Toole Scrivo firm for, I think it was two. 40, I think was the final number was about that. Right. Um, but the council has been paying that kind of in increments randomly yes. is the uh-huh. best way of describing it. And so O'Toole Scribo has come back now and said, look, if you'll we pay want. us just what's left, they, they knocked off a little bit more off of what they believe they're owed in order to try to get this resolved and not have to continue kind of a, a slow torture. Yeah, every once in a while, random payments. So this would just put this issue to rest at are, less are, money and no litigation than are would we be. Still if, utilizing them as litigation counsel for the planning board, or any I type of function that they're used for the planning board, Mr. Mayor? I believe you sit on the planning board. Is is the O'Toole firm still being utilized by the planning board? Not sure. I think that the sure. general sits on the, the planning on board. board, right? That's, that's not sure. The mayor's not sure. He sits on the planning board. He's not sure. Okay. Thank you very I, much. I, I have Glenn, a, I, th- I think that guys, By the way, guys, I have a designee on that board. Okay. I don't sit uh, myself. I have a designated uh, representative there. Uh, so, you know, as cheeky as you want to be, Mr. Luciano, I am not omnipresent. I'm not everywhere. Okay. That's not what you tell us, but that's good. Thank you. Okay, that's, I mean, that, I, I, I'm, so on 54, on idea. 60, okay. I am going to vote no. However you want to separate them out. That's the way we, don't, we, we don't have to separate them out. Just, we don't have we to didn't. separate them We just did, so carry on with your but, vote. We, no, there's been no motion other than a consent agenda motion for everything except 167. 
You've now had. No, that's wrong. We've had a motion and a second for the rest of the consent agenda, and that's where Tim came back. Right. We now had that motion and the second. Absolutely, but the mayor's going to tell me that he didn't. We we are going to have a roll call. If you don't want to vote yes on something, vote no on that item. You said that you're repeating yourself, Mayor. That's fine, but why you don't need to do anything else? You've had your discussion. You've taken up two hours of our time tonight with gibberish, and now we're going to move on. Gibberish. Okay. okay. Member Di Gregorio? No Member on Gregorio? No, 154. No on 160. Congratulations to all the new uh, firemen, Richard Standish, Nick Parabaccia, and Walter Frick, and uh, yes to all the others. Um, on the on that, but no to one fifty four and no to one sixty. Thank you, Member Luciano. Um, yeah, I've already said no to fifty four, the sixty, and I would also like to congratulate the new um, fireman appointments and wish them all the best of luck and safety. Member Clark. Yes to all. Member Begats. You're muted again. Yes to all. Member Kipsaskis? Yes to all. Council President Kitrubis? So this includes everything except 167. Is that accurate? Correct. Yes. Okay, so yes to all. It passes. Okay, um, congratulations uh, to the new firemen. And I thank you uh, on behalf of all the residents for serving. And can also I be recognized, Mr. Mayor? I'm sorry, can I just finish without you speaking? Can you just well, how would you know that I need I, to be recognized? I, I want to finish my sentence. Go ahead. Let's I just said, can I be recognized? That's all. Well, put your camera on so we could actually see you and we could see your hand and we could recognize you. Well, you can hear me. It works. So, anyway, to the public, I, I was trying to uh, congratulate our new firemen. I was thanking them as well for doing what they do, as well as their colleagues who are already firemen. Uh, they do a great job and they're greatly appreciated in this borough. Um, Mr. Match, I have a question for you. We, yes, had a, we had a recusal. We had a no and we had an abstention on 167. The guy is, is that or is that not a tie? We had. Which rules are you going to use tonight? It's <laughs> three to two. So that was the vote. It's, There's no tie. It's, it's three to two. You know, I don't, I believe, but I have to go back and check that when somebody is recused because of a conflict, that that person does not count for purposes of the quorum because they can't vote on it. There's a, right. so that in that case, three, two would pass. As opposed to, there, it wasn't a no, it wasn't an abstention, which asks as a no, it was a recusal. I think that's right. Um, if if not, right. we'll have to do it again. I think what it was three, two, one. one I don't care what you think. I want to make sure. I think it was wrong. three, two, one, uh, Councillor, with one recusal. That makes six. That, that's what I just said. It's three, three. But yeah. Mr. Mr. Mench, do you want to take a recess and double check? Because now would be a good time to do that. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, so... Uh, we'll no. have a meeting on the new budget anyway, so we, we can always stand by. Mr. Yeah. Luciano, please understand that we follow Robert's rules of order, which include being recognized by the chair. I am the chair. You're not recognized at the moment. Thank and you, I can't sir. pay you to recognize you because Thank your camera you, is off. Uh, I don't know why you people don't want to put your cameras on. It, it's baffling that you would I'll run for office. I'll put mine on if you turn yours you would, off. You would run for office only to hide from the public that either we're not hiding from the public, Mayor. Well, we should have public meetings, people. Mayor. We're I've hiding from people who are trying to. I asked to have a public meeting. I know one time, time, last time, because you had I a point, asked, you had a point to make. I've been asking for public meetings right. since last May. It, it's just it's just brain damage talking to you, really. Um, it really you, you, you exhibit, you, you show your brain damage. Uh, let's, let's, do, let's do the introduction of ordinances. Can I please have clarification on 167 who voted what? It was It passed. Yeah, I'd like to know who voted what. It, it, Council well, President, you, I think I, you already know the vote. Council I don't President, know the I, vote. I, I, Council I'd President, like to know I, how I, the vote happened. Council, Council President, I continue to recommend that you do not. Dis okay. You can go back and check the record later. It's a public okay. record. Mr. Mayor, can I be recognized? Yeah. Wow, thank you. Um, 
Hmm? Councilman Katrubis and I guess Councilor Mensch, should Councilman raise two issues with other things that he didn't have to be recused for? Is it because it's the same subject matter, even though it doesn't involve him, he shouldn't discuss yeah. any of it? No, it's, look, we, I, we could have done it potentially as two separate resolutions, but, you know, we did it as one and therefore it's just cleaner to, you know, look, Council, Councilman President Katrubis wants to stay on the dais and talk about stuff, he can. I'm just, I'm taking I'm the just more, asking. I'm it, just because yeah. I wanted to I'm say to him it. that if he wanted to use the other two things that he was raising, you know, that's why the mayor's biting his lip. But I mean, if he wants to raise the other two, the other two issues again um, that he's able to talk about, um, you might call for a motion on the vote on it. One yeah. issue. My my suggestion is that we we don't take any other action on this right now. If there's something that any council member you know, uh, Council Councilman Luciano, if there's something that you feel uh, was not included in that resolution that should be, then you can let me know. I can draft it or we can amend it or we can address it at the next meeting. And yeah. um, if that's a topic that Council President Katrubas can vote on, it doesn't involve his, you know, any conflict, then <laughs> he can vote on it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mayor, for recognizing me. Hey, um, one, one point in terms of decorum, an additional point is that technology is so wonderful today that like you could actually, believe it or not, go back and watch a TV show or a movie later. And I know that I feel that there's councilmen members watching TV and not paying attention. So put your TiVo on or something and turn your cameras on. It's just embarrassing to have a government that doesn't turn their cameras on, hides from the public, interrupts the public other. meeting, Mayor. It's completely ridiculous, okay? Grow up, everyone. You call for a public Introduction meeting. of ordinances. Um, is, this is going to be a public hearing on August 10th, 2022. The, the first uh, item here is 2022-09. Uh, this is an ordinance setting 2022 salaries. So I need a motion uh, to introduce that. Order. Can I ask a question, Mayor, please? Well, we're not, we're, we're not doing that now. We're going to have a discussion after, sir. Just hold <laughs> off. Okay. Uh, I want to make All a right. motion. All right. You make a motion, Mr. Park, okay? Yes. Is there a second? Second. Okay, can I have a, a discussion? Thank you, sir. Yeah, we're getting you in line. The uh, This ordinance, the All only right, thing I saw on the resolution was two two salaries. Has there, been a res has there been a salary ordinance created? Because I haven't seen it. What we got today was a salary ordinance with regard to um, the revision of the deputy clerk and the registrar, the, the deputy CFO. And I haven't seen a salary ordinance for everyone else. So is this an ordinance for everyone else or is this just an ordinance for the four people in that that thing that was sent to us today? Because I haven't seen a salary ordinance for this year yet. This this salary ordinance only addresses those uh, those folks. If uh, you know, I don't think that Chris Rass had sent over uh, any updated salary numbers for any of the other employees, um, Mr. Mensch. But the, don't we need to do? And maybe I do. Maybe it was missed. Maybe the one meeting that I missed that um, we did it. But I don't recall ever having introduced a salary ordinance this year. For our municipal so why are we just doing these four people and not combining all the salaries in one ordinance because you have to pay for ordinances yes. doesn't make yeah, any could. sense to me you, you you could you could you're gonna have to do it for everybody this one of the priorities that you know that the council has had was the oem situation and since we we're also but, trying to fix the registrar or the lack of registrar but isn't that um, separate with all i don't mean to interrupt you but isn't the OEM part not in that resolution that was that was separate yeah so so the resolution took care of the they go hand in hand so the resolution took care of the uh kind of the outstanding payment issues but this sets it in clarifies it moving forward within the ordinance so there's no other issues so um is that like tying pork is that like tying pork to legislation stuff you want to get through and and then all of a sudden because i don't want to hurt the oem so i'm i'm done discussing so, let's move there you go but you answered a question though councilman we, we do have to do a full salary ordinance for any other positions 
I don't have right. any information as so to now what we're the gonna have are for those we're folks. We're going to have an but... ordinance fee for, for, for four things and then have another ordinance fee for all the other salaries in town, which to me is just, again, we talk about being fiscally responsible and have a fiduciary responsibility. And it's not that much money, but here we are just going to, on the simple things, the simple things all add up to, to money. But, okay, let's move forward with the vote. Thank you for allowing me to have a discussion, Mayor. Uh, it's just you wasting our time, and if the council's willing to put up with it, it's fine. Hey, if if, if councilmen questioning ordinances and how the government operates, I'll be more than happy to waste your time. You just said yourself, it's de minimis. Okay. De minimis, it's not de minimis when de minimis. we're going to have to pay another okay. ordinance fee. I know you don't care yeah, about you the taxpayers' money. Yourself, de minimis. You, you don't know, care do. about the taxpayers' money, actually. but I do. Yeah, I do actually. I know, six million dollars. But let's move forward. Uh, have a roll call, please, Mr. Luciano. You do not have the floor any longer. Thank Member you, sir. Member DiGiorgio. Yes. Member Luciano. Yes. Member Park. Yes. Member Begats. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Member Kapsaskis. Yes. Council President Kitrubis. Yes. It passes. Okay, uh, next item is an introduction of 22-10, uh, ordinance authorizing vacation of easement. Rifka, your TV's on, sorry. All right, it's... I'll do it again. 22-10 ordinance authorizing vacation of easement. This is on the Henry Street property. Uh, this is an introduction, public hearing. This one is also August 10th, 2022. We have a motion. Could have a motion to introduce it. Make a motion. A Second. A motion? Second. Okay, discussion. Does anybody know what this is in reference to and why we're vacating it since you're moving it and seconding it? Yeah, so this is um, well, the property owner. We don't vote, so I'd like to know what the... Well, you asked... Okay, the yes, sir, I apologize. Go ahead. Well, can, can you just stop? Interrupt? I did. I just did. All right, listen. You, I, I, from now on, what we're going to do is take an hour break in between the first half and second half of this meeting because your behavior deteriorates substantially as we get closer to adjournment. And I don't know if it's just anxiety that you're going to end the meeting and not have another meeting for a few days but i think it's your we need voice you to work through this problem okay i think it's your voice we need you to work through this problem I think we're not here voice, to sorry. be your counselors okay okay so this you. is a, a property owner uh a, a long time resident uh elderly woman's trying to uh, sell her home and has run into a problem uh with an easement uh interfering clear title uh and the transfer mr mensch do you want to add anything to that no, that's exactly right. That the the borough has a slight uh, an easement that just is slightly enough on her property that it's stopping her from being able to sell her house. And uh, our office has spent an, a large amount of time trying to work out something that maintains. Uh, we're only vacating a portion of the easement because the borough does still need need some access. But after a lot of discussion with the homeowner's attorney, with your engineer. Uh, we've come up with a solution that vacates a portion of it enough to allow her to sell her house and still make sure that the borough has access to the pipes that it needs to if it ever needs to get access to mr mensch what is this is a sewer easement it sounds like yeah i believe that's right so does it make sense i mean i understand i feel for the woman but she bought the house with an easement so why can't another person buy the house with the easement unless they plan on building into the easement which then might inhibit us to have the ability to access our easement. I'm just, yeah. I'm always concerned when I hear that the municipality is vacating an easement yeah. and I'm trying to understand why. And for her just to sell her house, I, I, I feel for the resident and I want her to, but I don't understand that. Yeah. So two things in response. The first is I'm pretty sure that she bought her house in 1965. Um, so I can't tell you about what the, process was at that point in time for approving easements or or uh even um title you know title insurance companies providing insurance for the title that's what's jamming this up is the title company yeah. won't insure the title because they don't want a situation where she lacks full control over 
Yeah, but you know as well as I do, Mr. Mensch, that I mean, I've owned property with uh, since, you know, 1960s that have had easements on it from not even the municipality. I think if you municipal, I mean, it's just a, it's a right of way easement. I don't see how a right of way easement prevents someone from selling something unless they anticipate building over the easement. Yeah. Let, That's let me, the only let time. Add, let me add some clarity here. This, this resident, it, it needs to leave town to, to get uh, assistance living. She's had two contracts canceled on her. Okay. And um, it was for drainage. Uh, but it was never actually used by the borough. So, you know, I asked this council, please accommodate this woman. And where is this, where is this resident live? It's in, it's in the documents that you received. So. And I'm just asking yeah. you, so if you know, since you know about the easement, can you just refresh us in the public's mind? Or at 8 Henry Street. Let's see how easy that was? Wow. Well, you know, I'll read it to you also. We'll have reading time as well after this meeting if you want. Uh, I'll meet you in the park. No, I'll just do it virtually. There you go. And, and Councilman, just to be clear, we're only vacating a portion of the easement. It's reducing it in size, so there still okay. remains an easement there. It's just I understand. Really small. Yep. He just needs to encroach when he wants to build yeah, a new I, house. I think it's only it, like so. eight inches or something. It, 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 oh, okay. It's not worth a 20-minute discussion. Okay, from now on, we're going to rate our discussions. Not worth it. it this woman needs help. Thank you. Help okay, if we can rate your discussions, we'll do it. No, I'll be glad to do no, that. No, 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 no. I would just have a vote, please. All right, Mr. DiGregorio, go. I would like to be recognized just for one second. I said, Mr. DiGregorio, go ahead. Oh, uh, listen, I have no problem with uh, voting yes for this, but I just want to make quite sure, go on the record, that if this property is sold to a developer who happens to be part of the government in this town, uh, then we've got a problem. So, Let's hope that, that this property gets sold to a nice family and not to the developer who's part of this government. Thank Who you. is the developer? What you you like developers. You like developers so much, you want them to take a under Sullivan and build 5,000 units there. So what's your problem? Everybody's nice until they're not nice. Okay. There is a developer. There is a person in town who is purchasing properties and developing houses, and he's the head of the planning board. Right. Okay? I have some jealousy on your part. Not jealousy. It's just um, calling calling it to the attention of the public. Thank you. There's yeah, nothing wrong with that, Henry. Okay. <coughs> Member Di Gregorio. Yes, and please make sure that you remember if that property is purchased by a developer who's part of this government, then we got a problem. You just said that. Member Luciano. <laughs> David, good point. You know what? Very interesting. Does anybody happen to know if that purchaser contractor was our uh, chairman of the planning board, Mr. Mayor? Is that one of the deals that fell through? Do you know that? I have no idea. I have no knowledge about. Would you swear to that if you were? I would actually. You would. Okay. You know what? I have no problem. I vote. I have no knowledge of it. Member Park. Yes. Member Begats. Yes. Member Kipsaskis. Yes. Council President Ketrubis. Yes. And it passes. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, we're at the end of the agenda and I need to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay, anyone opposed? Thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night everyone.